In the following video, I'm going to uh, illustrate how I can use the Chrome Web Browser to connect to remote.blakeschool.org in order to access a number of secured services on the business network. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is that because my laptop is on the academic network or is uh, on a Wi-Fi network that is uh, off campus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be establishing a connection to Citrix and, uh, and to the remote.blakeschool.org website so that I can either access services such as Education Edge, Rager's Edge, or Financial Edge, or I'm accessing uh, the file server, something that only um, I can do once I'm in the Citrix environment. So I've gone ahead and I've opened up Chrome, and either I can do one of two things. I might see that I have a Citrix uh, bookmark in my uh, bookmark browser, and if not, I just need to remember to access Citrix and remember the URL remote.blakeschool.org or add it to my um, bookmarks. Uh, when I'm in Chrome, um, I'm going to get a message to install the applications. It's sort of a false message, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to log on to the page. And when I do so, I'm going to go ahead and enter my Blake business credentials. And once I do so, I'll be taken to the Blake Citrix portal. Um, and I'm going to open up the Citrix desktop. You'll notice up here that um, I got a pop-up lock-in, and that's because uh, it's requiring a plug-in in order to uh, use the service. Because I'm always going to be using the remote.blakeschool.org uh, Citrix service, I'm going to say always allow plugins. And once I do so, um, it's going to uh, no longer prompt me uh, for that in the future. You'll notice that as soon as I do, uh, down below, the Citrix Viewer will start up. And in a few moments, I will be transported uh, to the Citrix uh, environment, remote.blakeschool.org, which is a Windows environment, which allows me to run some of um, the uh, uh, applications here at Blake, such as Education Edge, Razor's Edge, um, or Financial Edge as part of uh, the uh, Education Edge uh, package. Uh, and when I am done with my uh, um, session, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the Start menu and click Log Off. And once I do so, um, I'm going to go ahead and log off the Citrix portal environment because I'm done with my remote session. And then once I do so, you'll see that that Citrix viewer has uh, got away from my desktop and I can go ahead and close this tab accordingly. And that's how I can access services such as uh, Education Edge, Razor's Edge, or Financial Edge uh, from my Mac computer using the Citrix environment.